This is a make code from Microbit stream, and we are here um, in Seattle with me, Pelly, from Microsoft Research, and Emil. I'm Emil, yeah. And if you're watching this video in YouTube, you can right click two times on the video, click picture in picture, and follow it in the editor. Another super fun video, super fun example. Oh, well, whatever. What do you want to do, Emil? Uh, We've done all the tutorials. I can like wash our own coding. <laughs> um, we've done a lot of dice before, right? Mm -hmm, we've done so now that, let's do a radio dice. It's like so we've done a dice with a single micro bit, but this time we're gonna do two dices. Okay, multiplayer multiplayer dice. We got the memo. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so let's build the dice. Uh, if you remember how to build the dice, uh, we use the shake block. And then we generate a number between one and six, and then we show it. That's like the super simple yeah. dice. Boom, show number, and pick a number, set it from one to six. We have a, a video on how to build a dice. Yeah. Let's get rid of the. Get out of, of here. These. Get out of here. And let's move this guy to the corner and zoom in. All right. Okay. So we have a dice. And because we're going to have to work with the dice value, we're just going to store it in a variable. And while I, didn't, I didn't grab the right thing. While Emil is creating the variable and storing the dice value in it, uh, I can remind everybody that the variable is a place in memory where we can store numbers and strings. And just like I think you deleted too much. No, because look. Yeah, but then there's a second line. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the variable is a place where you s can store and read things. Okay, now I can't. I thought I grabbed that little thing. Oh, there's another thing. It's like a drawer where you, um, it's like a drawer where you uh, put numbers and then you take them out. Okay, get the number. And those are the instructions to create the, the variable. Okay, put in a send number, radio send number, um, okay. So this is still a single player, it's single player dice, but what we're doing now is just after creating the, generating a number, we're gonna send it over. And any other micro bit is gonna listen for it. In fact, if you click on shake now, you'll see a second micro bit is gonna show up. Boink, there we go. Can we send even more micro bits? Uh, in the simulator, we only have two, but in, in real life, all the micro bits talk to each other. All right, let's take a look at the shake next step. It, shake it, shake it, shake. I don't want this. Okay. Radio received, received, phone ring. Now we're building the other side of the the message so we send the message and then we're gonna do something when the message arrives and we're gonna check that so the the number we receive is a, is a dice number for someone else and if that number is greater than ours we we show a unhappy icon okay so if the else is a construct that lets you run code based on the condition and these diamond shape condition are either true or false. Okay, let's proceed. So we're gonna compare receive number to dice and we're gonna test if one is greater than the other. So and so that's a logical operator and it need, okay. it lives in yeah, the so logic drawer. Close. I know grab this yeah I can grab this. You can drive it, but it doesn't really fit into the, the shape. Yeah. So you need greater or equal than. Yeah. And that's the keyword you're looking for. And then, oh, yes. You can see. And yeah, there's a little drop down. So you'll find the. Yeah. Uh, greater than. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. And it fits right into the condition hole. And now. Oops. Undo. No undo. All right. Then uh, fix it up. There you go. So if the receive number, which is the other, the other dice, 
number is greater than the dice, then you lose. So you show a, you show a brownie. I'm quack, not gonna quack, show quack, 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 or do like a, you know, skull or something like that. It's a ghost. A ghost, yeah. Yeah, yeah your soul is haunted. If All right. Okay, let's try shake. So you did six. That's really good. And then shake two. No, you didn't win. Try shaking. Try the first one to shake two. Wank, 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 wank. I think it should probably be greater. Yeah, not greater than or equal to. So you can play together. Let's uh, let's try it out uh, for real. So. Okay, didn't we do this? Yeah, we did this. Let's download it to the micro bit. Okay, so we're gonna have two micro bits connected. We have two micro bit connected, and Emil is gonna drag it to both drives. So he's gonna save it in each drive. We have G and H, but it might be a different drive on your on your computer. And now we go to this side, and they're both flashing. One is not. One's done. One is done. Okay. All right. So turn it around, and now shake it. Shake, shake, it. shake it. Shake one. Okay. It doesn't. Maybe it didn't do anything. No. Okay, let's redo the download. Yeah. Uh, which one is that? I think it's G. We don't really know. Okay, I'll just try again. Try again, both. It was done first, so it's probably G. Save link as, and let's see that both of them are. Can you turn them around, Zilly? Wait. We see that both of them are blinking. Nope. I downloaded it to one. One of them is blinking. And that was the one that was glitching out. Okay, shake it. Oh yeah, they're both working now. Oh, <laughs> you got ghosted. <laughs> Try again. Yeah, shake it. Okay, I'll go. Five. One. One. But I don't get ghosted. Uh, Try again. I think there's a problem because if you have six, you should never, you should never throw this, the dice again. Yeah. Oh no, you had a ghost. Oh, you have a ghost. Oh, that's fun. So that's like uh, a I dice think. game. It's like you had real dice, but now you're using yeah. the micro bit uh, to throw the dice. Let's uh, let's click on finish. Okay, I like playing micro bit. Oh, I want to keep playing. So let's let's take a look at the final code for this lesson. So we've got kind of the classic dice here code, but what we've done was adding. A little bit of logic to make it a multiplayer dice and actually it'll work with more than two micro bits you could do a whole classroom yeah. of all your buddies and to do micro bits so that's concludes this uh, I think that concludes this stream for today yeah thank you for watching yeah thank you for watching and see you on a future stream where we'll cover more and more lessons of the micro bit have a good day